I might add, we were all just congratulating ourselves that we just dealt with ADHD, substance abuse of all varieties, and we did it in about 10 minutes. I'd call that a, <laughs> now we're going to go into anger and kind of do it in even less time. Anger is a huge area, okay? It's something that I do a lot of work with. Um, John, do you do a lot of work with anger? Oh, absolutely. And you'll see, as we talk to Dr. Shaw, that is certainly an area he deals a lot with. Anger is a human condition. Anger is good. Anger is positive. Anger is something that can really get through you through life if you're able to deal with it. Of course, that is the problem. Once anger, which is an emotion, once that takes control of you, you've lost it. They say people see red, and there actually are people, I believe, they don't even remember what they do. They become so enraged, so angry. You see this in relationships. You see this people at work. I have had people hitting a table or hitting a chair next to me, clenched, there's teeth clenched, and they're sitting there. I hate somebody. And it's an amazing thing to see. And everybody, unfortunately, has this emotion, anger. And what it can do to the body, from a psychological point of view, it's a poison. It's toxic. It can destroy a person. Time, so absolutely. can you, again, as we resolve anger in even a quicker time, yes. can yes. you say, <laughs> what impact does this have on the human body, let alone the psyche? Well, again, like you said, anger is, is a, you know, one of the few tools we use to get work done. So anger is not a bad thing. It, what happens inside you when you're angry is a bad thing. Because the way I put it, use the anger, as a cardiologist as I put it, use the anger to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. How do I say that? A person who has had a heart attack, has high blood pressure, when that person gets angry, there's a high chance of plaque rupture. If plaque ruptures, it's heart attack and a stroke. So I ask all my patients, my friends, including Dr. Braccio, if you want to get things done, and if you need to get angry, learn the acting of how to be angry. And to all our listeners, I tell right now, all our listeners, whether you're driving the car or sitting down writing, taking notes, write down that you all, including myself, we need to learn how to act angry, but not get angry ourselves. Because when we get angry outside, it's okay. But when we get angry inside, it's not good. Goodbye. No. But anger is one of those things, it's a wonderful thing. It can get you through life. Nothing worse than developing low self-esteem than letting people run over Absolutely. you and take advantage Absolutely. of you. It's kind of Aristotle's summum bonum, always something in the middle. And yeah. that's what so many people just aren't really able to do. And what I what still amazes me is how many people that have great anger have physical problems, are taking heart medications, yes. aren't getting along with anybody, they're not willing to give up the anger. It's like smoking. There's some people that seem to thrive on anger. And it, it, I guess as a cardiologist, as a psychologist, and we'll even say our media man here, Aaron, you have to ask yourself, why do people do that? It's part of the human condition. That's how we all try to train and help people. And whether you're a cardiologist, psychologist, See, minister, human being. The way, the way I put being, Dr. Braccio is that when I'm angry on my wife, inside I'm never angry on her. When I'm angry on my wife, she knows I'm not angry on her inside. So she let me go. And that anger never hurts me. Because inside I know I'm not angry on her ever. So if you had to be angry, be angry outside, but don't be angry inside. Well, I say yes, dear. <laughs> My wife is angry.